YouTube, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic. Listen, it is Friday afternoon for me. It's around 16, 27. It's around 4, 27 p.m. Uh, long story short, I haven't slept yet. I got up yesterday, Thursday at like 6.30 in the morning to drive my mom to the airport. A couple things happened at work overnight last night, and I haven't got to sleep yet. But normally I feed on Wednesdays or Thursdays. But unfortunately, my mom, unfortunately, my mom was here and everything that's been going on at work. I had to kind of bump it to Friday. So I haven't, I've been thinking about doing this video for a little bit now, guys, because I used to do some of the live feeding videos. I shied away from it because it becomes monotonous, right? It's over and over the same thing, but a lot's changed in here, okay? The size of the collection, how many rats we got to get, how I keep track of the feeding process, and what I kind of do here at Blue Lion Morphs to make sure and ensure that my snakes all get fed and to make sure that, more importantly, no rat get left in the tubs and one of my snakes, you know, gets attacked or bitten up and so forth and so on so without further ado guys if you kind of found this channel just now because it is a feeding video which kind of attracts different people to the channel so yeah full of transparency guys it gets views get some new traction in here it kind of is what it is so with that being said subscribe hit that like button comment down below check us out on instagram blue underscore line underscore morph right i haven't done that in a while anyway guys let's get right into it as you guys know i pick up my my rats one of my one of my best friends biggie eric from biggie's reptiles okay he always hooks me up um, so this is what we do now, guys. So originally when I did videos like this, we had, what well, we had, maybe, maybe 40 snakes, 30, 40 snakes, maybe 50 snakes. And feeding wasn't too big. So you got to figure about a third of them aren't going to eat. But now we got about a hundred and something adults in here and a bunch of hatchings over there and a bunch of holdbacks over there. What do we buy? How do I break it down? What do I pick up? So long story short, guys, I kind of knock off about a third of all my adults and kind of just buy around 66, 70% of what I have in here. So I got about 60 rats over there, okay? So it's even less this week. Sometimes every couple of weeks, Eric needs a little time to catch up. So we got to give like a kind of a slower week. That way he can have some holdbacks of his own with rats over and so on. So what do I do to feed a collection with about 110 adults? About, oh, I don't know. How, how many hatches we got left? About 20, about 30. Eh, no, that's not true. About 40. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. About 40 hatchlings and holdbacks. So this is my order. Oh, I boogers my nose. This is what I get every week, guys. I kind of go to Big Eric's house. We got these big totes right here. Now, full disclosure, we're going to get some live feeding shortly. Now, it's kind of good to have a dogs in your reptile room. Diesel will smell it up. Diesel will eat occasional ASF. And, of course, we have Shelby, the Pit Bull Terrier. So they've been in here for about only about a half an hour, guys. Look, they're already sweating. You can see how wet they are um, just from being sitting in here. It's about 82 degrees in here, give or take. We've got 60 rats in this tub. So what I like to do, especially with a room this big, is I kind of sit them right here so these snakes start feeding them. We're we start smelling them. We're going to get some strikes in here for you guys. I know everyone likes to see that. So we're definitely going to get some strikes in here. Even though the lighting's kind of bad, I still haven't replaced that bulb because I'm a bum. But this is what we kind of do. So for all my adults that are on this size, we got 40 here, about 30 here, about a 30 there, okay guys? For about 100, 105, we get about 60 rats. And that's what I pick up for my adults over here. Now, most of these rats, this week's a little bit bigger, so it's not the end of the world. Ooh, they're sweating bad, huh? You guys are hot. So it's not the end of the world, but we have to keep me cognizant of that. Now, if we come over here, we do have some holdbacks, okay? These holdbacks right here all range from about 150 grams to about 200 grams, give or take. So what do we pick up for them? Well, long story short, guys, I like to pick up pups for them. Either nice size ASFs or some puffs. Uh, I like to switch over to puffs relatively soon just because I like to get them on um, on rats. We can start feeding them bigger rats. So this right here is my pastel stranger clown from uh, Reptile Creation, my buddy Anthony. And she's been an absolute monster, as you guys can see. So I kind of just drop them in there and I kind of keep track of what I give. Now, I kind of know all these all these snakes here will eat for me. So I don't really got to keep crazy track. This is my Wookiee clown male that I picked up from Matt Foley. Absolute beast of an eater. Has not slowed down one bit. I can literally hand feed him, okay? And a lot of these hatchings over here I can kind of hand feed also. But that's what I kind of do, guys. I kind of go through the collection here, kind of pick off who I want to feed certain snakes to, uh, certain rats to. This is our lesser paint girl. Another another fantastic eater. Like I showed you guys, it kind of goes just like that. So that's what we do over here in this rack. We kind of just pick off which ones we want to eat the most. This is that Cine Leopard, het paint female we've been growing up. 
pretty happy about that. Now, I normally just drop them in there, but just to show you guys how easy it is once you have them on schedule, how good and quickly they eat. This is that OD Cinnamon Het Paint Girl. Again, another beast eater. No hesitation here whatsoever, guys. It's really nice and easy, especially when you have them kind of on a steady diet and they're used to getting food uh, on the same days. Now, these girls did only, oh, really? Whoa, easy. She's Louise. She'll take it. These girls right here and all those holdbacks, they were just on these ASF hoppers. But we kind of switched them over to Shelby Diesel. Cut it out. We did switch them over to these guys right here just to kind of put some more size on them, okay? It's just kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to some of your holdbacks. So this last one, I'll probably give it to this girl right here. This is one of our holdbacks. ODYB Fire. Uh, pied female another beast of an eater has not missed a meal whatsoever so that's what we kind of switched them over to now when it comes to the hatchlings which i'll show you guys a little bit later get your tail in there oh boy uh what i'll do there i'll just kind of drop them in now most of the time my hatchlings are all very very good eaters okay guys um so we'll kind of show a good feeder one a good nice solid food we'll go back to them we'll go back to them let's see what everyone came here to look at so now, how do I keep track of who's got rats where and who doesn't have rats inside of the tubs? Now, if you guys have noticed, there is some of these rat... Ah, uh, didn't eat yet, bastard. Let's see my Confusion Boy ate. Yeah, Confusion Clown's eating. Very nice. So what I do is this, guys. It's a really simple process when it comes to feeding. I have these little tabs here. These are nice little rat tabs. My buddy Charlie makes them. So if you guys want to check out... Um, Check out Charlie's channel. He can make these things for you. This is what I kind of do, guys. I kind of feed by priority. If I put a rat in there, it's really simple. I put it here, okay? It's on the left side, it's chilling. Now, if the animal takes the rat, I kind of just move it over to this side, and then I just keep track of it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. At one point, I think I made a video about this about a year and a half ago, I did leave a rat overnight, uh, actually with one of my big pie girls. Thank God nothing happened. But now I'm OCD crazy. So at the end of the day, when we're done feeding, which you won't see this, I will check every single one of these tops several times. But that's kind of the nature of the beast, guys. I put a rat in there, okay? Once I hear or I see that the rat has been taken, I move it over to the right side. Then I know to go back and check to make sure it actually got eaten. So without further ado, guys, why don't we show some strikes in here? Now it is almost breeding season or just about breeding season. So these girls should be up and ready to go. I'm going to try to do my best to actually show a lot of these strikes and hand feed some of these snakes. So if I got tagged, if I end up getting tagged, what's going to happen is I'm going to drop my camera. The rat's going to go running. Diesel's gonna eat the rat, and then I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you me a bit, okay? But this is what we're doing here. So again, full disclosure, full discretion, guys. If you don't like seeing um, live feedings, then you're gonna want to shy away from this. So the first girl right here is our Russo Fire Spot Nose Clown. We picked it up from Joe from Empire State Exotics. Absolute beast of an eater. Okay, I'm just holding this rat, I can't even see. See, they're absolutely on fire, guys. Now, what I have noticed is that when I kind of leave this tub in there, guys, look, see, right on the right, I know she got a rat, she, she's got it coiled, and then check back, make sure she actually ate it. When I leave the rats in here like this, guys, often, more often than not, we get absolutely phenomenal feeding responses. So you can't go wrong with stuff like that. Who's, who's another really good eater? I guess I'll show you this big girl right here. Who's already ready to go? Check her out. This is my big old banana het pied female. Again, I'm hand feeding these things while watching the camera. Not the best idea in the world. I hope she doesn't go after my hand because that would suck. But that's the kind of go on. Normally I just drop them in there. There you go. See, look. Easy like that, guys. Because they're already prepped and ready to go when it comes to uh, feeding. Now, I'm just doing that for the camera, guys. Because now it's kind of a pain in the butt, right? Now I got to push these things back in there. Now I got to close it up. And we're good to go there. So let's get this going. I'm going to show you exactly how I feed and how I kind of drop these rats in there. And just wait for the sound and kind of move on from there, guys. So we'll put our little tab on. Of course, this one's broken. You wanna mess with the eel, you drop it, and he goes crazy. But we'll put the little tab on right here on our banana het pied female, and we'll get some strikes in for you, right? I'll try to, try to edit this a little bit, I guess, to try to make it a little better, but it's a little difficult to open because a lot of these girls are very, very aggressive. This is my pastel OD fire leopard yellow bear or actual 100 het pied female i got from ozzy boy she's almost ready to start pairing again she's a beast guys look she's already like kind of bull wrapping a little bit she hasn't been paired yet she will be paired with my pastel odyb fire leopard pied so i'm looking forward to that no really okay listen give her a little time give her a little privacy we'll close that up 
Now again, guys, we know these two girls ate, so this tab we'll just kind of put right on the side right there. Not a big deal. We'll keep this show going. Um, so far, just as I expected, this girl kind of hasn't eaten for me in a week, but you did pair with my Stranger Leopard Clown, which I'm pretty happy about. I do just throw them in there. I know a lot of people don't like that, but most of the time I drop them in there and let them do their thing. So we'll close that up again right there. No, bud. Ding dong. What a ding dong. We'll grab another tab. We'll keep this show going, guys. Get a couple more strikes in here, and we'll call it quits. But this is how we feed over here at Blue Line Morphs. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. We just pray we don't get bit, and we keep the show moving, okay? That is the nature of the beast. This is a big old fire blade clown. Another pretty good eater most of the time. But, of course, because I'm filming, last couple weeks, guys, these snakes that eat like absolute gobboons. Oh, someone just got it over there. Absolute gobboons. So what I do now is I heard it, right? Let's go back and check what we got going on. Sure, our OD... OD Fire and She Clown is all coiled up. So let's put that tab over. We'll keep this show going. Diesel, no. We'll open this up. I try not to get bit because this girl's very aggressive. This is a big old pied girl. Really good eater. Doesn't really miss a meal often. Um, again, she's not used to being fed that way just because normally I just drop them in there, like I said. But she normally doesn't miss a meal. But I feel pretty confident. See, that's the problem now. Now she's going to be stuck. But these girls, guys, because it's pretty much just about... Oh, so look. Fire Blade Clown. Yep, we're all coiled up there. So we'll move this one over. We'll check on this girl right here. You still haven't eaten. Rats in the back. All right, we'll close that up, give you more privacy. We'll close this one up. I can't. Come on. Come on. Weep. Close that one up. There we go. Cool. We'll keep this show going, guys. This is kind of what I do here. It takes me a couple hours most weeks to feed all these snakes. It, it is not a quick process by any means. Uh, again, they. It's kind of the nature of the beast here. This girl, I can't really see. I'm not that tall. I'm only well, I'm six one, but still, kind of dropping these rats in here. It's not the best way to do this. That is our our high OD yellow belly fire clown we got from Ozzy Boyd. Again, this one's been paired up to our stranger leopard clown. For the longest time, she was not eating regular rats. The region rats, she just ate ASFs. So she did take on a region rat last week. So I'm pretty happy about that. This is how we feed, guys. All right, there's a rat in there. We'll keep this show going. Get a couple more strikes in there for you. All right. This girl right here is our homegrown Eve. She's probably right in the front waiting. See? She's a beast. Jesus. So this is one. She's bit me a few times just because she's so aggressive. She's always hungry. All right? See? Boom. Just like that. That is our normal het pie female that we hatched out last year, guys. Um, that we anticipate breeding this year to be our first ever Blue Line Morphs creation and creation pairing. So I'm pretty happy about that. Close that up. We know she took. I heard some commotion here. And sure enough. That girl took, so we'll put that over there. Pretty good feeding day so far, guys. Uh, that's what I like to see, especially when we're building here. We're getting ready to go into the season, so we want to keep uh, keep these girls nice and fed and plump so they can build some nice follicles for us. This is our OD Vanilla Clown. Another girl, She actually, this girl's actually been paired to our Pastel Redhead Het Clown. Uh, she didn't eat last week for us, so I anticipate her eating this week. Now, normally I do just drop these rats in there and kind of close up shop. I do want to get some strikes in here for you. I'll show you how their feeding responses, especially because I think leaving the rats in there, in the room for a little bit to try to get some of the smell, uh, I think it really helps uh, the snakes kind of get in the mood and the feeding frenzy, okay? She's definitely interested, but again, I think the light might be throwing her off a little bit, so we'll close it up. We'll give her some privacy. You still? Oh, boy. Close that up. See, look, sure enough, guys, as soon as the lights go out, girls are rocking. Now, these rats are a little big. Now, we'll go back over here real quick. We'll check on our stranger boy. He didn't eat again, jerk. And all, all these girls, I anticipate them absolutely just smoking. Yeah, she, she ate. Everyone in here is gonna be eating, so we're good. So what I do, guys, is these are a little big. Um, this right here, I would consider, you know, like a large, small, or a medium. Uh, most of my girls are good enough to take them. We just gotta be a little a little weary of some of these bigger rats, especially with your smaller girls. Like this, this rat right here, I would consider like a nice big medium male. Now this is Big Mama. Back up, D. Back up. This is Big Mama, if you guys remember her. She's one of my bigger... Oh, see? Without, her head's always right there. So this is Big Mama. Now, at her biggest, she was like, I don't know, 4,600 grand or something like that. She is getting paired up this year. Um, she's only about three... Oh, boy. Don't bite me. She's only about 3,500 grams right now. We are pairing her up, so I'm happy about that. I'd like to get her back up to that 4,000 gram range. But, yeah. Another solid eater of a big old normal girl. You can't go wrong with Big Mama Dom, okay? Got the drama in there. She's doing her thing. We'll put that there. We'll close up shop. Now, she's in the bigger tub, so I'm not really worried about that. That's it, guys. This is how we feed over here at Blue Line Morphs. It used to take about 25, 30 minutes. 
and now it takes all fucking day and that's just i guess it's just the nature of the beast guys it kind of is what it is so let's see how oh that just bit me thanks right here Ooh, fresh shed good for you honey rats behind you bud see i don't want to let these rats drop because if i let the rats drop diesel will have a field day all right so keep keep in mind that you guys want to keep in mind you don't ever you were hissing away honey you do not want this rat, huh? All right, not a big deal. So when I hear something like that, it's just it's just aggravating the snake, guys. That's all that's going on right now. This snake is just getting aggravated. I don't want to do that. So we're going to pull that rat out of there. She's just hissing away. If she wanted to take it, she would have taken it by now. That right there is our big old Enchi clown. She was paired up this week to our Confusion clown. He locked right away. Actually, he just took a nice rat, so I'm pretty happy about that. She's been eating very well, too. By the way, guys, it's been 10 days. They did water swap, so they look a little messy. Eh, mind your fucking business, right? We'll give them a little privacy. That's behind. Woo! Close that up. Keep this show on the road, guys. Get a couple more strikes in here. Look for my more aggressive feeders. It's just kind of difficult to... Because I don't want to get bit by some of my aggressive feeders because they are beasts. See, look. look, look no, 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 don't bite diesel. God! See, this is the problem, too. A big-ass diesel. It puts such a huge heat signature that these girls always want to go after poor diesel. And... What did you do your water? And poor diesel will get bit in the face. He's done it before. He is my big ding-dong. But it's all good. That's a big old pastel. Check over here. I heard some commotion. Cool. You shed and you're eating. Absolutely fantastic. We'll come over here. We'll see what we got. You didn't eat yet. Not a big deal. We'll close that up. So this is kind of what we do, guys. We bounce around all over the place. I know I'm kind of jumping around. But this is this is the nature of the beast here, guys. This is how we feed here at Blue Eye Morphs. All right? We just monitor where we put the rats. Make sure we know a head count beforehand. And just make sure we're good to go. We'll close that up. That rat ran right past her. Yeah, not bad, guys, right? Not bad at all. We'll get a couple of strikes of these big girls for you. And then we'll, we'll move on to greener pastures. This right here is our pastel clown pied. I like to feed her a decent sized rat because she is a big girl. Ooh. Nope. No. I'll put that rat right there for her. So you get a nice strike of a pastel clown pied. She should take the rat for us. Normally she's a great eater. Um, but of course now, you know, she'll be a jerk. It's just the nature of the beast. So let me grab, keep an eye over there. Close this, we'll put that up. Oh, look, she's making moves for us. You know, I only see this girl strike a few times. I've heard her strike a million times because she loves to strike as soon as I close that up. So we'll see if we can actually get a nice strike on camera. Sick. All right, we'll close that up. Let's swing back over here. If you guys heard it off camera, somebody got smoked. Yep, another pie eating like a beast. Very happy with that. Can't go wrong with our pies. Now, who are the... Okay, so we'll, we'll, I'll show you some of my holdbacks. Some of my holdbacks to eat like gavoons. So this girl right here, I I know will come flying out. She's a watch your face. This is our pastel spot nose clown. Woo, there she is. All right, so I'll literally... I'll put that right there. We, we hatched her last year, and she's about 15, 1,600 grams, which is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we had 15, 1,600 grams. She's doing absolutely great. Fantastic eater kind of threw her off a little bit. Nope. Oh. See? Pastel clown pie just got it. This girl right here really doesn't, rarely misses a meal. So I anticipate us getting a nice strike in here. Again, this is our pastel spot nose clown that we hatched out last season. Absolute beast of an eater so far. Let me close that up. This is gonna be a jerk. Someone else just got it over here. Sure enough, very nice. And she girl got it. Now we gotta make sure. Oh my God, I'm sweating. We gotta make sure we, we put this over here. Now, like I said, we heard the strike. So now I gotta come all the way to fuck over here. Sure enough, she likes to do it in the dark. It is what it is. All right, let's keep this show going. Another nice, big, fat, juicy one. Let's see who we're gonna feed today. Our special pie girl, I like to put some nice size on her. She hasn't eaten as much as I'd like. So I'm gonna put that nice size rat in there for the special pie girl. She goes hot and cold. That's from Porter Pythons, my buddy over there in California. She's very hot and cold. So I'm gonna put that nice in there. I'm gonna leave her to her own devices. Now I did hear somebody strike, and like I said, she's an absolute beast of need. Our pastel spot nose clown is taking them down. So we're having a pretty good success rate so far, guys. It isn't always like this. There's times where I drop rats in there and nobody wants to eat anything. Uh, kind of the nature of the beast. This is a leopard double head clown pied female. Normally a fantastic eater. Um, doesn't really hesitate often. See, like I said, another beast of an eater. She should be ready to get paired soon. In fact, I am going to be throwing in my uh, my very own creation in there this season coming up. But that's how we feed here, guys. Let's get some more fucking strikes in. Why not? We're feeding. 
kind of got a rhythm going. We're doing okay. This is our cinnamon pie. They gave us all, um, all shark mouth babies this year. So I hope she can redeem herself this upcoming season. Oh, don't bite me. I'll throw that rat in there behind her. Hopefully she can redeem herself this upcoming season. Should we get paired to our pastel banana and she clown snake that we actually hatched this past year. So I anticipate that being a nice clutch. She also just wants to kill me. So I'm gonna close that. See how our, our special pie is moving in. Oh, God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, cinnamon pie strikes again. We'll close that up. All right, let's keep going. Now these girls down here, two big pies we picked up from Aaron, normally eat very, very well. And it's diesel's in the way. So we're gonna hold off on that. We'll come up here to this big old clown girl who's gonna be waiting to kick my ass. I can't, I'm looking through the camera, so this is stupid. I'm probably gonna get bit. But hopefully we get a nice strike in there for you on this girl also. Oh, coil it, honey. See, look, I'm screwing her up. I'm screwing her up, guys. I'm screwing her up. Right there, there it is. There we go. Close that up. Another big clown girl eating. Love it, love it, love it. So you want to see this time of the year, guys. Snakes put on some nice size. Who did I just hear got some? Someone took it. You didn't take it. Who took it? I don't know. All right. Let's keep this thing going. I love it. I love to see my girls eating. The Batman girl is another girl I don't really see eat on camera too often. Uh, even when I, she was young, she would eat here and there. But not all the time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, I got to try to coax her back in. Get back in. Get back in. Don't bite me. Get back in there. No. Get back in there. There we go. All right. Here we go. Do we just hear a squeak? Did our stranger boy actually eat? No, of course not. He's a jerk. All right. This is what we do, guys. I bounce around like crazy. It's a, it's a interesting couple hours. So let's get some more strikes in. But more you, you know, you don't have to watch the channel. You can move on. Nobody wants to hear anyway. All right, who we got? This pinstripe clown that we just cut the clutch the other day normally is a fantastic eater. And of course, she looks like she wants nothing. To, ooh, scared me. Of course, she looks like she wants nothing to do with a rat. So. Normally she doesn't have any hesitation and she just smokes everything that comes near her. So we'll close that up, give her some opportunity. We eat in the dark. This girl just shed on me. She looks like she's ready to boogie. Let's give her a nice wrap. This is that blackhead Mojave Het Pie Poss Het Clown female. Normally a fantastic eater, like I said. See, there you go, close that up. Now, I don't recommend hand feeding. Um, I have gotten cocky a few times, even feeding hatchlings, and they, they tend to bite me. So I don't recommend doing it, but if you can get away with it, it's not bad at all. Who just struck over here, guys? Did I special go? Oh, no. Who, who's good? Oh, Batman? Batman eat? There you go. See? It's all about listening, then finding who ate, guys. All right? So we're all over the place here. But this is what I do once a week, man. And then later on, I'll just, once, once I get all the rats in these tubs here, I'll go back over here to my hatchlings. Kind of just start dropping some of those rats in there. This is a, Mo a GHI Mojave double head clown pied female. Beast of an eater so far. Uh, actually, what I got. Oh, no. Get her. Get it. Oh, you're a fucking dick. Oh, no. This is what happens, guys. All right. So it's right there. You got Jesus. See, look. This is why feeding lives suck sometimes. So now we got to figure out how to get this rat. It's right there. We're gonna follow it. All right, guys. I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna oh, come to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this might work out really well. Oh, oh. oh get some strikes in. It'll be fun, yeah. Great for YouTube. Great for views. Okay. okay. Right there. But. Oh, you fuck. Where'd you go? This is what you have to do. Watch, look, look. It's like a, it's like a goddamn ninja. Look at it. Oh, look at the back. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. You see it? It just crawls around doing whatever it wants to do. So we'll try to do this. You ready? Oh, it's got these fat fucking arms. I can't put back. Oh, good. You ate. Good for you, pinstripe clown. We'll move that over right there. Diesel. I need this rat to come down. We'll get the rats. I mean, he can't get out. All right, guys. Give me five minutes. Oh, 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 come back. Got to follow it. Because we lose it, that's when the party starts. Like, don't move. Everyone be quiet. Come on. Come on. Oh, you fuck. Right here. All right. Playing this game. All right. Look, well, that's what we have to do. You guys, you having fun? Can you see? All right, where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? I know, honey. I know. 
I know you got my back if it drops. I know you got it. Keep an eye on it, guys. All about keeping an eye on it. All right. Great content. We did, did you watch on Baker's channel this week? Well, we watched him stare at a rat. And Shelby, you gonna help me, honey? See, see, uh, see blurry? Here we go. Can you see? You gonna get it, Shell? Where is it, baby? All right, all right, I know. All right, all right. I need longer clippers, longer clippers. Hmm. See, these two are eight. How can I pull this thing out? We'll give it two more seconds, guys, and I'll take a break. And I'll get this goddamn rat. I know. Where's it, Shelby? Where is it, T? Where is it, Shelby? It's right there. It's right there, Shelby. Where is it, honey? You gonna get it for me? All right. All right, guys. Give me one second. I'm sweating, and I don't feel like moving the shit out of the way. It's about to get ugly. Guys, two seconds. Grabbed it. Look at that. Huh? Fantastic. Let's throw that thing back in there. I honestly, just move that tub out of the way. Guys, you have no idea how happy I am, because normally... That is an absolute disaster. It's me moving all these tubs out of the way and moving all these racks and sliding them around. So we'll get a couple more strikes in before we end this video. Maybe we'll give this girl, a, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, See, look, I'm stupid. We'll open, then we'll offer, open, offer. Sometimes I get lucky and they take it right out of my hand. Other times they wanna play games. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. There we go. Get it. Get it. Nope. That. Nope. No, not me. Okay. You're the one that caused all the problems. I'm just gonna close this up, guys. So that's how we feed here at Blue Light Morphs. It's always an adventure. It's always interesting. And when we have a decent success rate, so I'm gonna continue on feeding. I'll come right back. I'll let you guys know how we did at the end of the video. Okay. All right, guys. So it's been about 20 minutes since I ended the last little snake bit. As you can see, we are completely empty. So this is kind of what we do now, all right? We threw all of our rats in, we have everything monitored, and now I just kind of keep track of what's going on. I'll give them a few minutes, I'll listen, I'll go back and check with this mystic, this pastel mystic girl. We'll check, see she took the rat, so I gotta move that over here. Now, unfortunately, not all of our snakes will take rats, all right? Like before, I was over here checking on Luna, and Luna girl doesn't seem like she wants to take that rat. So I'll give her about 10 minutes. If she doesn't take that rat, then we'll start moving over to some of these other tubs. As you can see, like our normal double head clown pod doesn't want to take it. Not a big deal. So we'll just kind of monitor what we've got going on over here. We'll check on some of these other snakes. Like this girl's had that rat in there for quite some time. And you notice the snakes, the rats will start doing that. So now I just kind of sit back and we start rotating through. Like I said, we kind of don't buy for every single snake we have. So over here on this rack, as you can see, our butter calico female, one of our holdback females, a bell male, you know, the, the snake I got in Brooklyn, a couple other animals over here don't have rats in them yet. Then of course, some of the animals are available over here. By the way, guys, listen, DM me on Instagram. We got a, a GHA Mojave male available, proven breeder, a big Mojave female proven breeder available. Um, got a pewter clown male available. We got a cinnamon blitz male available also. Where is he, where is he? Try to angle my camera. There he is right there. And then of course we got a pastel bongo male that's also available right there. So if you guys are interested in any of these animals, definitely let me know, hit me up. But this is what we do. Now we're gonna monitor what's going on here. Uh, we kind of swung over here real quick. Some of our smaller hatchlings, we did kind of throw in uh, some of these ASF hoppers, okay? So they all took our OD paint girls all eaten. So that's absolutely fantastic as you can see. And the other girls took down everything. Our confusion boy ate a nice little pup. Not not the biggest meal for 730 grams, but not the end of the world. Now, as you can see here, I kind of threw in two uh, animals right there with the stranger boy, just trying to get him to eat. He's maintained his weight, he's about 590 grams, so we're not worried about him yet. He's locked up with two girls. Very happy about that. Go back through here, just check on some of these girls. Uh, a lot of these girls should be done by now. Like this girl's definitely done. Looks like she's going to shed. As long as they scare me. You okay, honey? All right. In La La Land. She, look, she almost forced herself in the shed there. So this is what we do here at Blue Line Morphs, guys. I'll just monitor now. And again, I kind of just use these rats as it was over here. It means I threw it in. They didn't take it yet. Our boy right here is kind of an ASF only eater, a clown pod. Boy, I threw a rat in there to see what's going to happen. And honestly, I'm very happy with our holdbacks here. They all kind of moved over to rats, okay? I was kind of concerned about that because they were raised on ASFs. These are our pied pet clown females that we hatched out beginning of last year, about a year ago now. So they're all eating very well on regular rats. I'm very, very happy about that. And of course, all these girls right here, they have never had issues eating. So we're doing pretty good here, Blue Line Morphs, guys. This is kind of what it looks like on a typical feeding day. I'm sweaty. He's panting. Shelby's crying. 
and we're getting through our rats here, kind of doing our thing, guys. So it's that time of the year. We're kind of pairing up, feeding, bulking some of these females up. Now I'm going to go back through here and kind of drop all these 40 hatchlings in, uh, hatchling food straight in here, get them all fed up. So as always, guys, listen, I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's kind of all over the place there with the feeding video. I got some strikes in there. Kind of hopefully I explain how I go through my process of feeding here with about 110 adults, about 20 holdbacks, and about 50 hatchlings, give or take. So as always, guys, I greatly appreciate it. We're going to list some of these t-shirts for sale, guys. We'll do, uh, I'll let you guys know what size is available, so forth and so on. But uh, as always, guys, listen, I greatly appreciate you guys. Uh, be safe. Watch the six.